Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel to some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking of feeling regarding yourself, of course, and vice versa. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys, it is timestamp. So just check in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that. Or just jump you straight to the uh, beginning of uh, the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle. Um, as I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes they could just messages for a while. But, uh, I'll jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanted to go because ultimately we, we create our own reality. There we go. Perfect. So let me just take this in. You might see extra cards uh, just for me to clarify. So um, you can just take this in and I'll do that. So Aries, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up. As this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course, feel free to check out the other readings which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right, so we've got chemistry here. Uh, there's a strong magnetic attraction. So let's start with that. And I feel like that kind of sets the tone for this spread simply because for you, you was very conscious of how you was move it or how you handled it. Very slow moving when it came to maybe your emotions. There's a slow aspect to this with the Knight of Cups. But I feel like you was pretty content. You was at peace. There was some form of balance that you moving at that pace, if that makes sense. Yeah, moving at that pace. So very conscious of how you was moving. Uh, handling this, there's a, an awareness, a heightened awareness on uh, with that, with the King of Swords. We're talking about high level thinking, being strategic, being maybe just, yeah, planning, wanting to move ahead, but there is this level of indecisiveness. There's an a, a, a indecisiveness to or having some form of awareness that there needs to be some form of transformation. I'm not sure whether that transformation yeah, oh, sure. That transformation is more to do with you than it is to do with them. So it seems like you're conscious of this person or how to deal with this, and he's very much slow moving when it came to just your emotions or just, you know, expressing or whatever the case may be. Uh, but you're content with that. You're content with that. But with your person, you've got the knight. And like, the knight is a very reckless type of thinking, very youngish energy when it comes to just their thinking. I feel like how they're have it that that's kind of based on whatever actions were coming from this way of thinking because this is very fast moving reckless um it has to do with fear so not the first source which talks about sometimes heartbreak for me but sometimes it's also fear as well so it's to do with some form of fear that they're finding quite challenging but still holding on or still being staying sticking in there if that makes sense uh, there's happiness there Feel good, let's say that. Feel good and wanting to take this down a new path, do something different, go in a new direction. Right now, you're kind of processing things. You're showing up as the page. Uh, sorry, not the page, the four. So you're kind of trying to process things. You're just trying to kind of get your mind around certain things, balancing your thinking around this because there is this three of swords which is popping up and that's to do with not fear but heartbreak and I don't think it's to do with this person it could be someone else from the past but just this 
heartbreaks in your awareness, something that you're wanting to heal as well with that star card, something that you're wanting to heal, something that you're wanting to fix, you're wanting to give, put in on this, make the effort, let's say that, make the effort to actually do that, even though there is this awareness of it might be a slow thing or something that you've taken your time with. But you're definitely wanting to heal that now. It's like, okay, I want to do what I need to do. I want to give to this in order for me to kind of heal this spirit of this, uh, what's going on here. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean something that you're feeding at this moment. But it's definitely something you need to process, work through in your mind, come to a resolution or, re yeah, a resolution, you know, resolve it in some way, shape or form. But there's willingness there as well. Willing, willing, willingness there as well with the A. You know, wanting to just kind of put those emotions or whatever. But yeah, turn your back on it really and move towards that knife cut, which talks about emotional happiness that this person is displaying or has been. Dis your person showing up as the king of wands, you know, a very driven, focused type of person, uh, but on the heart could say that but there is this awareness that something has come to an end with that ten of swords there but there is this choice it's like mm, I've got a choice here about some and I'm wanting insight into that I want in you know a wake up call or I want to have insight into that choice that I know that I want to make or that I know I need to make or that I would like to make. yeah there's a choice Um, going back to this. We've got the six, which talks about long-term. So I mean, you've most probably known for a while. So this person, I don't think you've known this person for a while, but maybe you have, I don't know. It's that and or someone that has, sees maybe long-term with you, but also has developed just like a meaningful connection to it. Love attraction. There we go. We've got that lovers club, their physical attraction, and the king, which makes this person feel like they can actually have something with you. So it's more about yes, yeah. There's no ifs or buts about when with this chemistry there, but this is more about you clearing your energy. This is more about you dealing with and processing or coming to some form of resolution. So coming to some form of um, resolve around a past experience that has caused that not to say you're still sitting in those emotions not to say that you're still feeling those emotions but it's like you're trying to make sense of it you wanted to heal it you wanted to try to make sense of it and like it interrupts you progressing when it comes to just relationships romantic partnerships in some way i'm going to put on that not to say that i really need to but i love the fact that you're willing you're now ready to kind of turn your back on on that turn your back on that and move to move out of that space. Is it the question I'm asking really now is is it while it's unresolved or does it need to be resolved in order for that to happen? Right, now we did have that five, which talks about, you know, coming out on top. Um, but not seeing something, you're not seeing something, or you're not choosing. Mm -hmm. Ah, that could be choosing something all. So if you don't see or have that resolution. Or resolve, then is it a case of you just ignoring it. The key, the key thing here is, is that you're willing to now move up, move away from it, move away from it. The Eight of Cups talks about these things being left undone. Hence, why I'm, I'm kind of mentioning this unresolved. If you get to a point where you don't get to a resolution, or it's all in your head in that way, maybe. Um, them not giving you closure or them not, you know, something around that, then it doesn't mean you're not able to, to leave that. Questions unanswered, but still willing to move out of that. There we go. There we go. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and offering ends. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next